guys, I'm going to be showing you the game Starbound. Starbound is basically a uh, Terraria style game made by the guys who made Terraria. Um, it's basically a massive open generated universe and stuff. And um, we're going to hop in and go to single player. Uh, you get a really, you get a crap ton of character slots. I don't even know how long it goes on for. Um, so I'm going to create a character. There's six races to choose from currently. There's the uh, uh, avians. They're like um, a society of like religious bird people. And then there's the, the florin. who are like uh, sentient like humanoid plants. And they're like, their technology is basic. But like they steal it from other things and stuff. And like other races. The glitch. Um, the glitch that you play as are the more advanced glitch as a, the uh, civilizations that you find are like less advanced in like a medieval era using like swords and bows and stuff. They're like um, they're robots and all other robots destroyed each other and like I think this is the, the only um, kind that actually survived. And then there's the humans. Um, they're like uh, they're highly advanced they progress quickly and there's like a war over Mars or something and uh, something destroyed the earth like and the USMC or some crap I don't know survived the um, war and then the Hildo he, he, are like um, a race of fish people and um, I don't know much about them I completely forgot actually uh, and then there's the apex which are like um, a race of highly evolved apes, and I I don't remember that either. Okay, anyways, um, I guess I'm just gonna create a glitch character. Uh, why is this, you can just randomly do names? Uh, D D Joe Bot. Okay, that's gonna be me. So let's let's go right in. Let's let's go. Okay, first you start out on your ship here, and uh, there's a quest system. If you want to go to quest, you click here. Uh, if you want to go to uh, your codex, um, which is like previous quests, there um, you can use this to uh, do that, like scan things. Uh, you can just press N if you want to do it quickly. You go here for um, crafting, or you press C. The, here for inventory, you press I. Um, anyways, the first quest is to grab the stuff from here. So I'm gonna grab the matter manipulator, which is your main tool. At the beginning, you won't be needing it that much later. Um, then you get your flashlight, uh, your torches, your sword, which you're going to want to put in the L slot. And then your farming stuff, we're not going to need that now. Actually, I'll put them in for later because I'm going to show something. Um, basically, this is a massively open generated universe. And yeah, I get the next quest. Uh, anyways, like, uh, let's ignore that. And then you're going to want to, or like you don't have to go here, but I'm explaining what it is. Tech. Uh, tech you'll find throughout the game. I haven't found any myself, but there's different things like gravity bubble, which lets you float up in the air. Then there's the mech. You basically put it in here, and then you click lock in. And then that will assign the tech to you. And then here is your uh, fueling station. Um, you put something in there, and then you click fuel, and it'll add the fuel to it. You can preview how much fuel it will actually add up here. And then you click it or whatever. And then here is the thing that you travel with. You um, it only costs one fuel to go to a different planet. You know, actually, I'll explain the uh, fueling and stuff later. I'll I'll get to that after. Um, so, anyways, this is the matter manipulator tool. If you want to get rid of background blocks, which are the blocks that you don't actually run into, like the walls and stuff, you right click. I don't want to destroy that, but like you can see, if you hold sh down shift, you'll select one single block. Um, you can't currently go outside the ship. Actually, I think I've seen some people do some glitches, but I th think that is about it. Um, if you want to destroy blocks that are, like, actually there, like, you walk into them, you just left-click. And then this is your flashlight, you know, your average lighting up device. Uh, so we're going to head down to the planet. You're going to want to use this teleporter. You go down here. If you want to teleport back, yep, you use this. Where my mouse is hovering. Okay. Uh, we appear to land on a planet full of eyeballs. It's uh, r completely random each time you do it. 
There's like thousands of different creatures. And, oh, and already we found our first civilization. Uh, some avians. Try not to take out your weapons in front of them because they will actually get pissed off. Some civilizations are unfriendly. Um, if they like warn you to not come near, then don't come near them if you're not ready to fight them. There's uh, uh, usually these uh, like civilizations and stuff have uh, merchants, and the merchants will sell you stuff for pixels, and pixels are up here. When you die, I think you lose about 40% of your pixels, and there is a way to pixel bank. I'm not sure exactly how, but it's like a lot later. But it is easy to get pixels because uh, you can just go kill monsters like that right there. This is just one of the many, many random enemies that you can face. The combat is a bit difficult at first. And each enemy has their own special abilities, like some breathe fire, some charge at you, some even jump up in the air and fucking smash you. And then there's... Th these bird things? Okay, they added it in the latest patch, and the birds, they pissed me off, and I swear to God, if I see one today, I'm gonna kill someone. Okay, uh... Basically, we're gonna gather a tree here, so what you got, we're gonna wanna do is just hold it here. Just keep holding it. Just keep holding the fucking thing. Come on. Come on. It just takes a very long time with this, but you will get tools, which I'll explain in a sec. And I really don't want those eyeballs. Just, well, what is it doing? I'll put them here. Okay. Uh, 18 wood should be good enough. Yeah. Um, then we're going to want to gather some stone so we can get some tools. Like I said, once again, destroy background blocks with this. and Yeah. Um, oh, God. Here's that I'm in combat. Combat music plays like every time. Uh, for some stupid fucking reason. She, like, I don't like playing every time. I mean, it kind of gets repetitive because, like, it's it'll be, like, the same music for a boss as there is the thing. But I guess they'll add that later. So you right-click, remove background blocks, like I said before. Shift-click, select singular blocks. I'm going to try to block this guy in, so... Um, nah. Oh, shit, I just got rid of all my wood. Um, I'm going to have to go get another tree. Uh, there are later uh, matter manipulators, but they won't matter as much in an early game. Later you'll get, like, matter manipulators that will, like, dig a crap ton. You'll be able to dig a tunnel down to, like, the center of the uh, planet. Well, I don't know how deep the center is. Like, thousands of blocks, and then eventually you'll get to lava, and you'll just, you know, die. But, fun while it lasts. So there, we got a bunch of wood. Um, now we're going to gather some stone. It's got a pretty good lighting system here. And you see those vines there? They give you plant fiber, and I'll explain that what that's used for later. Um, we're just going to... Where'd the guy go? These are... You can gather ores with this, but it takes too long with this thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like I said before, the birds are fucking... Annoying, and they kill you like instantly, and I'm probably gonna die here. <clears throat> kill yourself, Jesus! Dying. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna gather a bunch of stone. I forget how much it is for. No, I'm gonna craft the crafting bench first, just to see how much it costs to do this. Yeah, basically, you craft the wood planks and. If you want to craft max, you can uh, hit the back arrow, and then it'll show you how much I, you can craft at maximum. Um, so I got enough of that. Uh, here's a wooden crafting table. Uh, it requires a lot more than it does in Terraria, but that's because it's it's just a more difficult game in general. Uh, except a reward. You get pixels from it. Ten pixels is nothing, and if I lose it, I don't even mind. Okay, um, so I'm gonna place this, place this, uh, play, come on, I'm gonna place this here, you gotta have, like, empty blocks or you can't do it, um, now I should be able to craft, okay, stone pickaxe is gonna cost that and that, okay, um, but, uh, I'm not gonna explain that cause that's pretty simple. The pickaxe will have like a bigger 
range. Like it'll do like I think three by three instead of four or two by two, like this one. And um, these are like the different ores you can get. Like this one's probably gold or something. I can't tell. Um, but each ore is used for a different thing, just like Minecraft and Terraria and all those voxel games with mining. Now we're gonna head down here, and we're gonna get some of this uh, to make a bowstring and as well as some bandages. Um, let me just place some things here, just because I don't want those things getting us down there. Not all monsters are aggressive. Some are um, passive. And passive basically just means, you know, they won't attack you unless you attack them. Like those ones down there, those are aggressive. Because you can see they're trying to get me. Oh, jeez. Uh, I only got three. Guess I gotta get another one. Almost done. And. And. There we go. That should be enough. So let's head back up to the crafting bench. And craft us a bow. You're gonna need the bow. You're gonna need hunting weapons such as hunting knives and bows in order to get meat off animals. If you can uh, take off like 90% of their health and then use the last hit with the bow, that will work as well. And you don't always get it. Um, bows and guns have unlimited ammo in this game. Uh, so I'm going to go and hunt an animal over here. I'm going to get one of these. There is a hunger meter in this game, and you will starve to death if you don't get food. Uh, you don't run out too quickly. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. And here's the thing. You just press escape to skip this. Uh, doesn't matter. As you can see, I lost some pixels, so I'm going to beam back down. I'm going to go back over here. There's another, there's a bird up there. Oh, shit. No, come on. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and the, like I said, they have the, they're each own special abilities, and this one has freaking electric crap. And there we go, drop some meat. Um, what you're gonna need to get the- Fuck off! There's another one! No, stop it! Oh yeah, to like, equip different things, just press 1, 2, 3, 4 and all that, in case you didn't understand. Um, well, you know, it's a simple hot bar, just in case you don't understand. I'm not saying you're stupid. Which you might be, but, um... And then bandages, they will, uh, they won't heal you instantly, but they will regenerate your health really, really fast. So you're gonna need those. And then there's later versions of bandages, you know, like super bandages, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Let's craft four of those. Let's put this in the hopper. Um, now we're gonna want to create a campfire. Campfire is gonna take five unrefined wood, so we gotta get another tree. Which sucks, because I... It's, it's taking up time. The game has a really good soundtrack. And the art style is pretty good. Looks better than Terraria, I can honestly say. As soon as this tree gets chopped down... Sometimes there's, like, really weird trees. Sometimes you'll get, like, even brain trees or some other weird shit. Um, and let's go and make the campfire. The campfire is what you need to cook stuff, and there's like later versions of the campfire that cook quicker, quick, quick, quicker. And you can put everything in here. Just uh, grab these, put them here, click cook, and it'll put them there. You can stack meat so you don't have to worry. Uh, time to craft a furnace. Okay, I think I'm going to go do that, I guess. Also, you're going to need to keep warm in this. Uh, the fireplace is there. Uh, so, uh, if you stay near it, you're fine. Um, on very cold planet, or uh, Yeah, on very cold planets, you'll need it. Like snow planets and stuff. 
And at nighttime on regular planets, you'll need it. But on jungle planets, you'll never need it. Actually, wait, do you? I'm not sure. Um, if you want to get quick warmth, it won't work on snow planets, but it'll work in just regular cold. You put two torches beside each other and just stand in it. Also, if you, um... You'll need, like, a place to, uh sleep if you want to like get healed up without using any bandages so I recommend making a bed the bed is this here how much does it require okay that um, we're gonna put the bed over here and then just press E in it it won't heal you that fast but it's something I recommend putting it on your ship um, now let's go gather some stone There we go. Um, this is, will be enough to uh, build a pickaxe, so let's go build a pickaxe. And this will mine much, much faster. Um, it will save you a lot of time. So that's why I did that before I started uh, making the furnace. And this son of a bitch is really bothering me. Fuck. Get. Uh, you. Fuck. Get. Kill it. There we go. So use this, and like I said, it's a bigger radius. So it will mine faster as well as um, mine a lot of it. So let's just do that. Then like a couple more. And now I'm going to show you how to make ingots with this the furnace now that I have enough or I should have enough maybe I should mine one more like I said it'll save you a lot of time um, also uh, when you're underground you cannot teleport to your ship so like if you're behind a bunch of dirt walls or something you'll see like the, this thing goes away but like if you mine out the wall that's a neat trick because you can actually teleport if you do that. And, okay, so here's some ores. They take longer than stone to mine, obviously. Uh, and that's six gold ore, so let's head over to the thing and make a furnace. Oh, yeah, you need the uh, fire for that. Basically, it tells you what you need by like just hovering over it. Uh, let's create the furnace. We only need one. Accept. Okay. Let's place that furnace down. And I'll just put this away for now. I don't need it yet. Now we'll put the gold ore in there. And then, just like uh, cooking meat, you put it in. It'll take two ore for each thing. I got some gold bars. So, um, now I'm going to teach you how to farm. So, we're going to need some. Okay, we're gonna need some more wood. So, I'm gonna head over and grab some of that. Just hold on. Oh yeah, there's some here, so. The pickaxe can also be used to harvest wood, but the durability goes away faster. The tools are the only thing that have durability in this entire game. I think. So, let's create a stone hoe by getting 
uh, the wood platform, or not wood platforms, wood planks. Stone hoe. And let's just put that there. You're gonna need like three spaces of flat land, I believe. For certain things. Wheat seed, yeah, wheat seed requires three. So you just plant that. Um, and it's starting to go nighttime, so it will get colder, and the monsters get a lot tougher. Like a lot tougher. I'm not I'm not exaggerating. It's like it's just don't go out at night. Well you'll probably survive at this level, but not at later ones. So let's just plant that after it's all ready. And then you're gonna have to just wait for that to grow. You can use most seeds as like food. Others as just like decorative plants, I guess. They haven't fully implemented like a cooking system or anything, so it really doesn't matter. As you can see here, my cold uh, starts to go down. You can see the little arrow. When the arrows get bigger, and your if your temperature starts dropping a lot, you'll freeze to death a lot faster. Um. So now we're gonna move on to fueling the ship. So you used to be able to use just unrefined wood to fuel the ship, but now you gotta get coal, so we're gonna go find some coal. Let's uh, search, search down here, and there's nothing here. Let's just go up here. Let's just go, let's just go up the fucking, go up the, <clears throat> So we're gonna, oh shit, not again. Okay, I'm looking around for some coal. There's other fuel sources you can eat, but coal is like the basic of it. Um, coal is a lot more rare now to find, which kind of sucks, I guess. But they change stuff every update. There will be character wipes as well. They, 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 because like sometimes they just change a lot, and then they, they're like, yeah, just wipe the characters. If some people will have the unbalanced characters, and then, oh, jeez. Let's go back down. These towns can stretch on for a long time. Uh, I think I'll just dig a hole here, though. That takes a while. Don't worry about taking stuff from here, because like they actually don't mind. Um, I don't think they implemented that for them to like panic after you take their stuff. Medical kit that that could be useful. Pixels, yeah. There's no way to store pixels yet, or like regularly. You can compress pixels. You can um, uh, go get this thing called like a pixel condenser, I believe, and then put the pixels in that to compress or wait no no that. okay there's this thing you can get you put ores in it and it'll create pixels and then if after that if you just keep it in there you won't lose any but other players can steal it that's the problem so here's the merchant uh whatever doesn't look like they sell much This, yeah, this town is it's a pretty big town. It's a, it's a pretty big town. Ten platinum ore. That platinum ore is very good. That's been there. A bomb. That could be useful. Although I haven't had much use for them. Ever. There's many different kinds of civilization towns. Like, there's some that are, like, cities. Then there's pirate ships out in the desert that have, like, a big anchor. Like, if you find an anchor in the desert, you're going to want to go and find that. And, uh, like, go up there and then they'll sell you guns and stuff. But that, I think that's, like, when you get to later into the game. Almost at the edge of the town here, I believe. Yeah, this is the edge of the town. Here are pixel containers. They contain a little bit of pixels, not too much. Here's this. Oh, a nice uh, battle axe. 
Um, here's some iron. Nope, oh, uh, wrong thing. Ah, jeez. Okay, it's not hostile. Um, there's uh, fall damage in this game, by the way. Uh, fall damage. It's it's pretty broken at the moment. But they'll patch it. Early beta, so. Oh, fuck's sake. These things are. They just really. They just really, really want to kill you. Looks like we're not having any luck finding any coal. Used to be able to find a lot. That's pretty rare. Um, there might be some down here though. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Basically, you're going to want to go back up to your ship. And then once you're on your ship, you have to go over here. Put the uh, fuel in, which can be... Um, let's see if I can fuel that. No, I can't. Uh, with that? Nope. Okay, anyways, you just put the fuel in there. Um, and then afterwards, you're going to want to go to here. One fuel, it'll cost one fuel to land on any planet in your solar system to land on something outside it. It will take about 200 to 300 fuel. I think it's just 200 now, probably. Um, one coal will give you two fuel. So you'll need like 50 coal or 100 coal to travel to a different solar system. Um, then there's the different uh, sections of the galaxy like C this is alpha and then you'll unlock beta and then gamma then delta it gets a lot harder as it goes up like beta is tier 2 which is like level 10 and up um, there's different threat levels of planets so if you can see here this is like level 1 which is the very beginning you always level land on a level 1 planet at the beginning some planets you can't land on um, as you get more armor penetration on your weapons uh, like, see, this will be effective up to level 8, I believe. And that will do um, quite a bit of damage, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure how they rebalance the, the uh, weapon system. I'm not too familiar with that. Um, also, uh, just one last tip. When... Okay, there's going to be a quest that will say, create a beacon. Don't create the beacon. Or, actually... Yeah, you can create the beacon, but don't deploy it. If you deploy it, a level 10 um, boss will... Or I'm not sure if it's level 10, but it's like... It's a high level, and it will kill you very, very quickly. So I recommend uh, getting geared up for that. It's like a... Uh, I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it's like... It's a big boss thing. Anyways, thanks for watching my tutorial, and I'll just... Uh, I'll just... I'll just uh, I'm going to go...